What's up? Econ John here. In this video, we're going to talk about compensating variation and equivalent variation. Let's go. So the prerequisite for understanding the topics in this video is just knowing what an expenditure function is. Some less important stuff that will help you have a broader understanding of what compensating and equivalent variation are is to know how to take a definite integral and to know what Shepard's lemma is. So Compensating variation and equivalent variations are measures of changes in consumer surplus. This is done by asking the following question. Given a change in market prices for a utility maximizing consumer, how much would I have to pay the consumer to be just as well off at old prices? The way we answer this question is by measuring the amount of compensating or equivalent variation is present. So our situation is the following. A consumer is consuming at a utility maximizing level of U0 at prices P0. The market price is changed to P1 and the consumer's utility maximizing level moves to U1. If we are measuring the compensating variation, we want to know how much income the consumer needs to be fully compensated when prices change from P0 to P1 considering the original level of utility U0. Our formula for compensating variation is thus, CV is equal to our expenditure functions evaluated at prices at time one and the utility at time zero minus income M, right? Recalling the quality that M is equivalent to our expenditure function, right? We go and get our expenditure functions at prices one and U zero minus the expenditure at prices not and U zero, right? For measuring equivalent variation, we also want to know how much income is necessary to compensate the consumer when prices changes from P0 to P1. However, we are now considering the expenditure functions evaluated at the new level of utility U1. So our formula for equivalent variation is our expenditure functions at prices at time one and you, the new utility of U1 minus our expenditure function at prices at time one and our utility at U1. So, on the previous slide, we have everything that we need to understand compensating variation and equivalent variation. However, there's a quicker way to do this by appealing to a result from envelope theorem. Recall that if a price of good I rises, spending must increase by an amount proportional to the Hicksian demand. This is called Shepard's lemma. Recalling our formula for compensating variation, we rewrite it as an integral. We get our compensating variation is equal to the integral of our Hicksian demand evaluated at prices P and utility U0, right, where prices go from zero to one for a good I, that's our compensating variation. So it's just that integral of our Hicksian demand evaluated at U0. Following a similar process, we can find equivalent variation by taking the same integral, but just now at U1. So the real difference between compensating variation and equivalent variation is just what our base utility. Is it the old utility or is it the new utility? So that's compensating variation and equivalent variation. I hope this video helps. I'll see you in another one.